Hi, stitching. This is Stitching to Connect Annie. I'm here in Seattle, Washington. I almost said Seattle, Oregon. Where am I? Seattle, Washington. Um, I'm in a BR, BRB. I think that's what you call it. That's why my background's different. Got my jammy, a Bronco jammies on. Yes, they're not doing well this season, but I love my Broncos. So anyway, my daughter got me these jammies last for my birthday last year, which was a, a really nice surprise. So I'm kind of cozied up. <clears throat> I'm not sure how the um, lighting is in here. So I, I opened all the curtains, but it is Seattle. It's pretty gray out right now today. Although it's in the 50s, it's not terrible. But anyway, there's some glare in my glasses. I may take those off and use them when I need them. Um, <clears throat> a little horse. I'll talk about life at the very end. Um, I don't know how long this will be because I kind of threw everything in a bag before I came and I didn't bring um, a lot. Plus, I didn't stitch for a week to 10 days since I last saw you. So again, put that at the end if you're interested. But we'll just jump right in for right now. Um, my biggest thing is I got Dark Queen of the Earth. So... Um, Everybody kind of knows what that looks like. I don't really have a photo of it or anything. And I got a start on it. Not much, but a start. That's my start. I got the darker green. Um, so this is kind of the middle of her bodice kind of down and then starts down. I think that was like a two-hour session. Um, the only night I have stitched in several weeks, several, a while. So, um, yeah, I got that started. So I got, I got the fabric and I got the threads, the specialty threads. I ordered the beads. Um, if you can see how spark, how sparkly that is, it's very cool. Um, I ordered the beads and they are on back order or something. And, and you don't bead till the very end. So that's like 12 months away or now it's like nine months away. Cause I think this, I think the third, pardon me, the third release has come out. Um, I don't know what the color, pardon me, just had a banana. Um, I don't know what the color name of this is. I did get 16 count Ada. So it's kind of cool. It has a lot of dapply foresty colors in it. Um, I'm very excited about her. Have I finished the Dark Queen of the Sea? No, but I'm going to try and pick her up along the way and stitch on her. And I've done, I think I'm on part four or five of her. So she's maybe, maybe a third done. I don't think she's, I don't think she's much past that. But um, yeah, I'm excited about this. It's different. It's new and I'm excited about it. I do have the other, some of the other colors. They're all DMCs except for those fancy, fancy flosses. So there's some of the other colors in it. My friend Jessica, there's another one too. So a lot of greens and then a lot of, um, I wanna call it salmon, it's not, but it's kind of salmon-y. And I'm in the Northwest, so. And we had salmon last night for dinner. My, my son baked it in, his, his, in their brand new kitchen. They bought an older home and they're refurbishing it and they finally got their kitchen done. They haven't had water or, um, you know, it's been torn up in their kitchen for quite a while. So, so we had a nice baked salmon and he made baked potatoes. And then we had, when he got the salmon, he picked up some oysters. So we had a nice um, Pacific Northwest dinner last night. And um, it's so great to see them. He's my youngest son. He and his wife have been married four years now and are um, working on starting their family since they just got their home. And so it's very exciting. So, um, so that's my new, my, my one new start. That's, that's, that's it. I brought along a few other things because I wanted to show Joel and Ashley what I work on so much and they've been they've given me some gift certificates and they've been super supportive of my stitchy habit and my stitchy interests 
and I um, think it's great that I travel to the to the different stitching retreats and stuff. So I kind of wanted to bring what I had. So I threw it all in a bag and um, I have it with me. And you've seen these before, and I haven't made that much more progress on them. So if you don't, if you're bored with it, understand. But it is what it is. So I'll just talk about it <clears throat> since I'm since I'm here. So one of the things I started um, a little while back and that I'm very excited about, but haven't worked on in quite a while, is I got the Lindy Stitches Shining Fish. This is the one that has a, um, um, a saying or a quote on it. Um, if you like, um, if you like whimsy, Lindy Stitches does, um, what is her name? I'm not going to remember that the name of her, her, uh, website, etc. And her company is Lindy Stitches. Stephanie. She's Stephanie. She does a lot of fun whimsy stuff. And these, this is sparkly. So those are, um, treasure braid fish. And then the, the gold is sparkly too. So that's kind of fun. And, and um, I'm sorry, it's not all sparkly. The fish are sparkly. Treasure braid, really pretty. Is there a, no, there isn't a pink one. The, pin, the tail on the pink one's done in all of these. And then the gold one has, um, there's gold and then there's this beautiful blue. So those are all the treasure braids. So I got the kit that it came with. I didn't, I ordered my own fabric, but I got the kit. And then these, and then it's all done in silks. So they are dinky dye silks. And these are the silks and they're yummy. They are super yummy. So anyway, I brought that to either work on or just show them. And like I said, I haven't stitched on that in at least two months. I don't I think I got this in August. So, but that's something I'm, I'm excited about. And then <clears throat> the other one I brought to show them was, um, I'm doing this for my daughter um, for her birthday. And I had, I didn't work on, I don't know what is stuck. Oh, it's just a needle, needle minder. Um, it's the French kitchen, the hands-on design French kitchens. And I'm doing the um, strawberry and mint is the first one. So I have, I did end up ordering all of them. So this is the one I'm doing. I know, I think I showed you this a time, maybe last time. That's how much I've done. And then I did get all the rest of them. So I'll show those to you. I don't think I showed you these. So there's a um, apple and sage. So I'm mixing all my things together today. I'm mixing whips and and new purchases and or haul and all. It's all it's all mixed together today. Um, so that one's a really pretty one. Then there's I like this one a lot. Blueberry and thyme. There is what is this one? Pear and rosemary. So I believe they're called the Four Season Summer House Stitches, Stitcher Works, and it it's called the French Kitchen. And it's called the Four Seasons. Is it the Four Seasons? Where's my glasses? Why can't I remember that? Oh, a well-seasoned year is what it's called. I can never remember that name of that. Sorry about the delay. And then the other nice thing that she did, um, hands-on design did, in um, in cooperation with Summer House Stitches, they made a box. It says, um, you know, French cuisine on it. It says, after designing the original four pieces, the French Kitchen Club, we wanted to create a collaborative design as a teaching piece. Like so many things in 2020, 
The class didn't happen, but since the design did, we wanted to make it available for everyone. Use your finished box to store your French kitchen season seasonal panels or fill with recipes, tea, cooking utensils, or anything you wish. We hope you enjoy Station as much as we enjoyed working together to create it. So it's very cool. I really like that box. I definitely want to do the box. Sorry about the light going in and out. Not sure what that's about. So, yeah, I ended up buying all of them because... Who knows? You know, maybe I'll do them all for her. Maybe I'll do some for me. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm enjoying doing that. <clears throat> so I brought that to show them. And then what else? Oh, I don't think I've, sh this is one that I, I know, I don't think I've shown you. I don't think you've seen. So I had grand plans, <laughs> always make plans, and then, you know, whoever, God laughs at them or whatever, to make ornaments for my book club. I think I talked about that at plans at the end, and um, so I got one and a half done. I got the little deer done. He's kind of cute, I think, and then this is going to be a um, Christmas tree, so it's going to have, it's all greens through here. This is a, uh, I believe it's a 16 count Ada from one of my, I think it's from um, Married with Citrus, uh, Fortnite Fabric. I think that's, I think that's what that is. Pretty sure it is. I think it's 16 count. Anyway, um, I had grand plans and then life happened. These are my, this is my palette I've chosen. Um, I've just pulled my own threads. There's some forbidden fiber. There's so weeks. There's quite a few. Um, there's some color and cottons. Anyway, these are my these. This is my palette. I'm going to use for all these different ornaments. I think there's a Santa, and um, I'm just pulling from a bunch of little smalls, little little very little smalls. I may do that deer again because it went so quickly. So that is a new, so I actually had two new things to show you, which is not too bad. We're having is wiped out a week as I had. And then I did, <laughs> I told you, I told you I would. As soon as I ordered them and got them, which I did, um, this is my, oops. Oh, I have a couple of things in here. Okay. This is my magic shoes, which I, I haven't done any more on. This is, sorry about the see-through. This is the magic shoes. Okay, and I told you I lost all the beads that came with this. And so I ordered them all. I ordered all the Mel Hill beads with one, two, three stitch. And I told you as soon as I did that, I'd find the ones I'd, lost, I'd misplaced. And I did. I don't remember what they were in, um, but I was going through some stuff, and I'll share that with you, too. But the one good thing is I did, the button was in there, and I kind of liked the button. I was going to maybe put a pumpkin button on it, but I kind of liked that turquoise button. So the button showed up, which I was thrilled with. And then I got all the beads, but look at them. They're all mixed together, and so I'm kind of glad. Oh, there's a beading needle, too. I needed that. That's awesome. So I kind of am glad I ordered all of these separate because now I don't have to go through and sort them all. Will I do that? You know, I do tend to do things like that when I'm watching football games or something. I'll sort, sort things. But that's all the beads. So now I have twice as many beads as I need. <laughs> Which also reminds me, I will probably get two Dark Queen of the Earth kits. Um, there were some not very responsive emails um, on the, on the um, resources, resource of the fabric and beads. And I don't like to speak badly about anybody, but I didn't get any responses to when I first ordered that kit for the Dark Queen of the Earth. 
I didn't know if they got my, I didn't know if they got my order. I didn't know anything. So I was waiting around, waiting around. I was checking my email. I didn't see anything. And so I thought, well, maybe they never got it. So I reordered it, mentioning that I had ordered it previously. And if I, they had gotten my order, to please not send me a second one. We'll see. I did not go back and check my PayPal or calendar if I ordered it on through my credit card. I don't remember how I ordered it right off the top of my head right now. But I may be getting two. So I may be auctioning that off or I may be, I may donate, donate that to an auction. I, you know, um, Michelle Bendy does um, very worthwhile charity kind of auctions. I might donate that to auction off or I may do a giveaway or something like that um, in the future if I do get a second one because I don't need to. We'll see. We'll see. So that's kind of, but that's, you know, it's the nature of the beast. You're dealing with people. Things happen in people's lives. And um, I just wanted, the communication level just wasn't there, unfortunately. Now I'm trying to put all these beads back where I know I will be able to find them. Okay, they're all back in this little bag. So I have this little bag with all the beads in it, all my beading accoutrement. And yes, so that's how much I've done on that. Then I don't think I ever, and then I'll show you some other, some other haul items I've had in the past but haven't done anything with, because they're all in this bag too. So these are kind of fun little, um, Mill Hill bead ornament kits. And I, I'll probably do one of these for Christmas. This one is super cute. It's called Sleigh Ride Ever. And there's a set of these. And there, this is an evergreen sleigh. And I like that one so much because it had that little um, dog in the front. I thought that was super cute. And these are little. So this is the size of the, of the paper that you get. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's like hand size. And I have very small hands. or like this. Anyway, so I have that for sleigh ride. And then I also ordered this last year, which is, I believe the glare's not too bad. What's it called? Christmas lantern. thought it was really pretty too. So again, I may whip, whip a couple of these up for like gifts for my book club. Since I have all the stuff for them. They're kind of fun. And I have them in this little bendy, I think they're called bendy sleeves or bendy, bendy something or others. This this one gal makes and they come in, you know, they have plus and they're nice. You can put all your colors in here. They're, they're absolutely perfect for small mill hills. Really like those. And then I have a buttons and beads also. I've, I've shown this before, but this is the Valentine one. It's called Valentine Heart. And this is how much I've done on it. I started this at in Pittsburgh at the Steel, Stitcher, Steel, Steel Stitchers Retreat in February last year. So I got a fair amount done. So I do like Mel Hill Beat. I do like Mel Hill Sets. I think those are all my Mel Hills. Like I said, I threw them all in a bag here. I don't know why I have those. That's a mystery. Okay. That's all good. Have them in my kind of Halloween bag here. So those you've seen before um, and a few little new things along the edges. Okay, so that's everything I have stitching wise. One thing I did do, it's gonna be a very, this is gonna be a short video. Um, one thing I did do when I was not feeling well and recovering was I entered all of my, um, I think I have it on here. It's on my phone too. Um, I entered all. All of my inventory into it's called X Stitch. I entered all my inventory 
So like it has a journal, <clears throat> which is like all my starts, um, which I have 35, I think is what it said. It's nice. I'm, I've had this a while and I never did anything with it. Um, this is all my charts and kits. So it has the designer and then you, um, if you want to add one or something, like here's my Dark Queen of the Sea cell, it has all the information on it. And then it has all my threads. Um, you can go by a uh, brand like DMC. I have Anchor and um, oh, those are not ones I have. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, my charts and my threads, I have 892 entered. So I went through everything. That's part of the reason I found my beads. I went through all, everything, all my bags, everything, um, and entered all of those into X-Stitch. It looks like, I just wanted to find it for you. So this is, and I have it, oh, fooey. Really? Who says fooey anymore? Me. See that X stitch right there? Yeah, right, right by my middle finger there. Right there where my finger is. It's called X stitch. And it, it goes through, it goes over things like it, it, you can, like I have it on my iPad and I have it on my Android phone. phone. So it's a, that's a plus. Um, I think it's nine bucks for the year. I think, I think that's what I want to say is very worth it. Um, it has a lot of place for notes. So with my threads and flosses that I logged in, I put what projects they were in, what project bags they were in. I super organized and, and also has a shopping list. So if you need to have that on your list to look for or shop for or add to the cart, um, it's, it's right there. Um, Highly recommend it if you are struggling, like I was on the struggle bus with my organization. So I did do that. Um, so like I said, this is a short one. A little bit of life. I got a horrendous flu bug Halloween night. Um, Cause I think I, I think my last floss tube was the Friday before Halloween. That's what I'm thinking it was, pretty sure. Monday night, I got really sick, high fever abdominal stuff, respiratory stuff, but my fever lasted for four to five days. I mean, it was, it was not a fun time. I didn't do anything but sleep and kind of look up at the TV and go, oh, that's on and go right back to sleep. I, I tried to push electrolytes because I had not been eating or drinking and everything was going right through me. So I had my husband and Robert get me some Gatorade and I cut it with ginger ale because I hate the flavor of Gatorade. So I, I cut it with ginger ale, and so I was drinking that. So I was trying to keep up my fluids and my electrolytes, all the while thinking this was like 10 days out from this trip. I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to go. I'm so disappointed. But it turned around on Friday. <clears throat> so I was sick from Monday to Friday, pretty much solid, pretty much solid. But I was super weak, I was, um, you know, I hadn't eaten or done anything or like for five days, that's a lot of time to be in bed. Um, so obviously I didn't pick up, a, I did not pick up a stitch. Like I said, the first night I stitched was the night before I came here. Maybe the night before that. And then I started feeling better. And by Monday I was feeling pretty decent because Friday I told my husband, if I'm not better, I think Thursday I told my husband, if I'm not better by Monday, I'm going to the, you, you need to take me to the doctor. So he was worried about me. I was worried about me. It was, and I hadn't been sick in like two years. So my theory is, um, and the other thing that made me upset, kind of made me mad was I'd gotten my flu and my COVID shot to boost last booster two weeks prior because I was getting ready to take this trip to see my son and his wife. And, um, I got my shots and I was all set, you know, and everything. And I think my theory was I got sick within like three or four days of getting my, my flu shot. Um, no, 
was my COVID shot. So I think what happened was I have been out and about. I don't mask up as much as I used to. I mean, like I go grocery shopping, I don't mask up. I go to choir, I don't mask up. But I think my immune system, and I think this is the case for a lot of people who I, I've heard are getting this strange flu or virus that's going around. <clears throat> and I think my immune system was just like adjusting to getting the shots and, you know, boosting up my system for that. But then that, that virus snuck in and got me <laughs> and I didn't have any, I didn't have anything left to fight it. Um, I'm just so thankful I'm better. So if you do get this, please take care of yourself, go to bed, drink lots of fluids, um, you know, keep that fever down. That was my big thing. I am not a, f I'm, I, I, I don't get headaches in that first night. I thought my head was going to explode. Once I got on ahead of that and got my fever down and got the headache to be more manageable, I felt some better. I was better enough to like sleep. I couldn't even sleep the first 12 hours. So anyway, probably TMI, but just know that I'm back to my healthy self. It is, I was, <clears throat> um, Joel, my son, asked me on the phone, he said this morning, you sleep well, Mom? And I said, yeah. And he says, what about how you're feeling? And because I hadn't shared anything about me being sick till I got here and told him that I had been so sick a, a week ago. He go, and I said, well, you know, the other good thing about coming to Seattle is it's sea level and I'm used to living at mile high. So my energy is boosted when I come to um, sea level more oxygen, you know, more everything when you're, the humidity is great. My skin feels great. Um, the only, so the only like public th kind of things I did from the time I got sick until I came was I did meet my friend Jessica and we did stitch on Saturday. She stitched. I sat there and looked at her like I'm still recovering. I, I mean, I had a good lunch with her and I, I just kind of sat there and we visited for two hours, which was fun because I hadn't seen her in a month. Um, and she was stitching and she had also, she's the one who kind of enabled, she didn't, she would never urge me or anything like that. But she had enabled me to get the dark queen of the earth, Sal. And, um, so she had brought that and showed me how far along she was. She's almost caught up. Well, she didn't stitch for like a month, she said. So she was kind of in my boat too. And then she worked on a little Mill Hill taco, cute little fridge magnet. So we had a really nice visit and that was great, but I was worn out. I got home, I got, can't, went home, had, he had already eaten. So I just told my husband, I'm going back to bed. And um, then... The day before I left on my trip to come here, I got my hair cut and colored. So it's fresh, which is nice because I needed that. I hadn't been in since September, August, quite a while. Because I'd had to cancel once prior to that. This is all extra life information you're probably not even interested in. But, so that's me. That's my life. That's what's been happening. Um... So I'm hoping to jump on now as soon as I finish here and do a little stitching maybe on um, Dark Queen, maybe maybe on my daughter's piece, um, my French kitchen piece. Um, yeah, those I have a couple options. It's going to kind of depend on what kind of light I can get in here. I did bring my magnifier and my lap stand. So anyway... It is also Veterans Day, so if you served or you have family members that serve, I salute you. I don't know how to salute. I did not. I did not come from a military family, but I salute you and thank you for your service to our country, um, and for all all that you've done. And we are heading into the holiday season which is exciting. Um, I, th I think I've told you I'm not, we're not doing anything. This is my last trip of the year here. Um, I'm not meeting, I'm not getting together with family. I'm not traveling over the holidays. It's just too crazy. It's too hard. It's too, it just is too much. And um, my daughter and her family are taking a big family trip to Morocco over the holidays, which I'm super excited for her. Um, 
and I'm just going to, me and my husband are just going to hang home. Oh, the other thing I did, talk a little bit about, I got a Google Pixel watch. I can now be like Dick Tracy from, I'm super aging myself here, Dick Tracy and talk into my watch. I can answer phone calls. I get my messages. Um, I had prior to, I don't know where it is now. Oh, where my phone? Oh, it's right here. Ah. Um, in May last year, I got a Google Pixel phone. I'm a Sam. I'm mostly Samsung. I've never had Apple um, phones. The only Apple device I have is my iPad. Um, I like the size of the Google Pixel. That's why I got it. It was relatively new. It still does things that I don't understand. <laughs> As I've said before, I'm not a techie. So there you go. And then I was waiting and waiting. Um, and then they came out with the Google Google Watch. Watch. It's really amazingly comfortable. I was I have a very very small wrist. I, I'm a tiny boned person, but it's amazingly comfortable. I I hardly know I'm wearing it. That really one of the one of the nicest features is I don't have to take my phone everywhere with me because it's. Um, you know, it, it's cloud-connected, uh, Bluetooth, and I can, you know, walk around the house or up and down this, you know, where we live in a two-level. So I was always like, oh, I need to grab my phone because what if, what if my husband calls or somebody calls or whatever, for whatever reason. I don't have to do that anymore, and I can go out and take walks and just have my watch on. The other nice thing about this, um, what they did was they partnered with Fitbit. I've had a Fitbit for years and I wore it mostly when I traveled, but you know, sometimes I'd slap it on when I went out and took a walk, but it didn't connect me to anything um, device wise. But this does all my health stuff, even tracks my sleeping if I choose to wear it at night and merges with my Fitbit account. And so that's really nice. So this kind of a ad for Google Pixel products. I'm very happy with it. So that was kind of early Merry Christmas to me, which I've, I've spoken about this. We're very blessed. We kind of get what we want when we want it. It's not a huge, big deal. But um, again, I was able to connect it to my phone account. So it was just an extra added on <coughs> cost per month. And it really wasn't it wasn't too painful. <laughs> we'll put it that way. So I think that's all my news. Um, I hope you're um, doing well. I hope you're staying well. Do mask up if you're in big groups. Right now, I think it's I think it's a wise thing to do. I did mask on at in the airport and um, especially on the train and stuff like that. I just. Like I said, our immune systems, I think, are a little wacky and off track because we haven't had the normal amount of, of exposure to germs and viruses and all that stuff. So I think it's coming back to haunt us a little bit. But um, So take precautions, especially if you're traveling, especially if you're meeting with a lot of people at holiday time. And um, yeah, that's my public health announcement. So... Okay, well, I'm gone 33 minutes. I think that's all I can squeeze out of, of the news for this one. Um, so keep connecting. If this is your first time seeing me, please like, subscribe. And um, I'm usually not quite this scattered. I'm a little more organized, um, but not totally or truly. I just have fun. I have fun connecting with people. My next retreat is in Palm Beach. I'm going to the oh boy, Annabella's Annabella's retreat in Palm Beach in January. So that will be fun, but I'm not traveling before that. <clears throat> Unless something odd would come up. But so take care, connect, keep connecting. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment. I'm always up for your comments. I enjoy uh, responding to comments. And I will see you in hopefully a week, maybe 10 days, maybe two weeks. 
but uh, if I don't see you before Thanksgiving, have a happy, happy Thanksgiving and um, enjoy your day. Bye for now.